I'm going to be talking about drinking and just talk about drinking today because um, it's it's been this uh, thing, you know, and in my life, it's 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 been a very big part of my life for most of my recent years. And um, as, as of right now, it seems like living a life without drinking is not worthwhile. And it also feels like everything should be celebrated with a drink be it an occasion be it a birthday be it a diwali party be it anything everything should involve drinks and especially when i'm out with my friends it just seems like something i have to do and uh, i've noticed one more thing about myself and that is that i tend to have these struggles with alcohol whereas people around me are perfectly fine or so it seems so it's 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 a it's a big hit or miss in my life right now and um, if I look at goals that I have set for myself, um, I set a lot of goals for myself. I'm a very, very um, driven person. I'm very ambitious. But drinking is something which even brings me down to my knees and it's my Achilles heel because I, on the one hand, I say that I love to drink a lot and I love how it makes me feel. But at the same time, although it makes me confident, I feel it also makes me a little stupid and I'm very aware of the fact that it makes me a little stupid and I might say things I don't mean when I drink just because in that moment I feel as though I'm feeling good so it's okay to feel like that and talk about it uh, in a certain way. Um, so yesterday for example I had a lot to drink, tonight I'm going to a party and even before I go to a party I'm, I'm, I'm more afraid than I'm happy. Uh, when I'm sober, I'm afraid that I'm going to drink. And when I am not sober, I'm afraid that I'm going to drink. So I'm always very, very scared of the fact that I'm drinking. And I look around me, and it's not like I think these people are better than me, but they definitely have their drinking in control. And, and that's something which I lack in my life. I don't have my drinking in control. I think it's out of hand. And I constantly find myself saying this, and the sad thing is that most problem drinkers don't think they have a problem. They think it's absolutely fine. And um, this is not an entertaining video, so if you're expecting me to open up a bottle or something, it's not going to happen. I'm just have, sipping on water. Allow me a moment. I feel a lot of my struggles in life are based on drinking. I also feel that on days that I know I'm gonna drink, I get this excitement and that never used to happen. But recently I've started noticing that I get excited about the fact that I'm gonna be drinking or if someone is bringing me liquor, it becomes exciting. But when I don't have much frequency in between my days of drinking, I think that's terrible. Um, it takes away from your sleep. My face looks, uh, my face looks really bad. My eyes go a certain way. And there's just this heaviness and dehydration which is set into the face, among other things. Um, I also feel it takes away from my, create, uh, my efficiency. You see, I like to work every day, but when I drink, I conveniently skip a day or two here and there. And that's not a very good thing, you know. Um, so, I'm wondering what to do, really. I'm open to suggestions, though don't mind if I don't take them, because, uh, okay, Here's what I'm asking for. What do you think I should do? Don't tell me to be to moderate my drinking. Don't tell me that I you went sober, but what was the use? Don't tell me to keep drinking just because I can't get sober. I don't want any of those dumb answers, really. What I want to know is how do I, or what do I do, man? I can't quit drinking. I can actually quit drinking. I can totally do that. But... Every time I go sober, I start realizing how boring life is without drinking. Boring is the right word? No. How unexciting life is. Life is very exciting and dazzling and all that. But somewhere I feel that because it is so ingrained in me these past few years, I find myself, I find it very difficult to break away from the shackles of drinking and break free from the shackles. And um, I don't know, man, like it's, it's just most unsettling it's most unbecoming and um, you know 
I started noticing my problem with drinking about two years back. I realized that, you know, um, I, how I am so conditioned to drinking, how there is this evilness about the whole thing. And um, I look at videos of me drunk and I'm like, oh my God, I look so bad. Like I, I look like there is this cloud over my eyes and I look like I'm not in my senses and I'm just speaking like a fool. I don't know who that guy is, man. And um, and guess what, guys? Here's a shocker for all of you. Um, I keep coming back to drinking also because I started reviewing beers online. Trust me, that's one of the reasons I came back to drink uh, drinking because I wanted to do my stupid, sometimes funny, sometimes sad uh, reviews of beer and whiskey. That's one of the reasons I came back, um, you know, to drinking. And um, I realized that. I don't necessarily have to do drinks um, reviews so that five or seven people can laugh with me or laugh at me or laugh against. I realize that this is not the answer and I need to step. I mean, I reali I'm realizing it right now, but it does not mean I won't do any more alcohol reviews. It doesn't mean that I will stop because I find it exciting at the same time. Um, but it is it surrounds my one very bad habit or one very good habit. It's also a very good habit, it's also a very bad habit of drinking. Um, now, I've convinced myself that if I wanna do writing in my life, I need to drink because, hey, Ernest Hemingway used to drink and he drank so much. And it is true, when I am hungover sometimes, the, the flow of my thoughts and the person I am, I think it's, it's just a very, very good mix. I'm on the edge, I'm emotional, I'm vulnerable. And that is also a fun side of me to see. So I'm just gonna end the video here and just say that I have a drinking problem because I drink maybe three or four times in a week. And um, the minimum I will drink is four drinks and the maximum I will drink is a dozen or if anything, 13, 14 drinks, which I think my body can't handle. And um, I don't like to do things for people, but somewhere I care for what my family does and thinks, just like any other man, a responsible guy. And I'm at, I'm at the crossroads right now because I'm not in my 20s, I'm in my mid 30s right now, so I need to get my shit together. No, I, actually, that, that sounds so bad. Okay, I don't, I cut that, like undo that. I didn't say I wanna get my shit together. I have my shit together. If there's someone in the world who has a shit together, it's me. Trust me, trust me, there's no fucking way I'm gonna like not say that. Like I totally feel I have my shit together. Um, especially when I compare my trajectory of growth and thinking and reasoning and intelligence and logic and um, desire to improve with others, I find myself absolutely perfect in most respects. But alcohol is a major barrier in my life and it is somewhere slowing me down. So I'm questioning whether I should do away with alcohol because I find that when I don't have alcohol, I'm my most productive. And it's good to be most productive. It's good to inculcate more things. One thing I hate about drinking is that it takes away from my reading time. So normally I would be reading, but if I'm not, if I don't get time to read, then I'm probably drinking. And that's very sad. Um, it's 4 p.m. on Saturday, 26th October, when I'm recording this. I will give you an update one year from now as to as a follow-up to this video, and I will be doing other parts um, of various other kind of videos. But this one is just about sobriety and thinking about going sober, and it's just about my journey um, as a, a drinker, as an alcoholic. Um, yeah. Um, I want to also want to say one more thing. Um, there's a reason I always correct myself. I say a word and I correct myself because thoughts, uh, when, when thoughts are there in your mind and when on your mouth you have a word, you describe your life situation as, in a certain way. It is important to choose the right words to describe your life situation because number one, it will become in your own brain a way of identifying yourself and describing yourself and that's not good. Number two, you, the viewer, I care for what you think. So I don't want you to think I am displaying or being someone I am not. If you think I'm just someone who does beer reviews because he thinks he's a funny guy, 
well, that's true, but that's just one percent of my personality. I have way more to show. And uh, yeah, man, it, like this is such an offbeat video, but I'm sure at least two or three of you would appreciate this. Um, let me know what you think about my thoughts and actions, and don't call me confused, or I'll, I won't like it. I'm not gonna do anything, but I won't like it. <laughs>